All right, I got a solar system that I just put together and uh, I have a fluke multimeter and I have a fluke clamp meter for the amperage. Problem is this one won't handle the amperage of my solar system and this one only does AC. I went out and bought this. It's a south wire. Um, it's a AC DC clamp meter and it has all the functions with readout for uh, voltages. Uh, you can see all the various settings that it offers on it. This is a true RMS which uh, you'll find out makes a difference. It does have non-contact voltage in it. Um, it's got a third hand probe connector on it uh, that lets you put the probe into the back of this uh, so you don't have to have three hands to hang on to the thing. It will do 400 amps AC and DC both and it handles up to 600 volts. This particular one is the model 21550T. Ended up finding this for right around $70. All the other meters that I looked at, um, they were even in around the $100 or maybe a little bit more. This one was probably the most competitive priced. And it also had some better features to it. Some of the specifications were a little more in line with the fluke stuff. Some of the other ones had a much wider specification to them, so it may have had a lot more error in it. Went ahead and cut the thing open. Um, haven't had it out of the box yet. Found out the best way to open it was just to cut around this perimeter here. And that's the meter. It's a pretty compact little unit. Um, it's got kind of rubbery stuff on the thumb wheel here for setting the positions. Um, First glance looks like a pretty decent meter, but we'll go ahead and give it a test out. And like I said, the main feature of this thing is it handles both AC and DC, which uh, a lot of other meters do not do. The Fluke equipment, um, it's something like three to four times more expensive for a similar performance. But we'll find out because uh, a lot of times you get what you pay for. Including the package is a pretty nice looking case for the meter. Got the cables in here for the test leads. They seem to be a fairly nice quality. The cap pulls off if you need a longer test probe. And it does have a uh, thermal couple that comes with it for using a temperature test. An instruction book that tells you everything you need to know. And it includes a set of batteries so that you can get it uh, up and running right away. Battery compartment has a small Phillips head screw in it. It's nice to note that they uh, made the screw so it's captured in there so even after you take it out it doesn't fall out of the cover so you have to chase it around. And already the display has lit up with uh, data. It does have a flashlight on it. It's got buttons for minimum and maximum settings. Um, if you want to hold a setting, mode and range. 
for the temperature probe. Um, it's got what they call a K fitting here. And it spans the terminals on the meter. And it shows you where the plus and the minus is. So you have to uh, make sure that you line those up when you plug it in. We'll turn it to temperature. Right now it's telling me it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Using the mode button I can change it to centigrade. So holding the probe against my hand you can see the temperature change on it. And right now, just uh, using an infrared thermometer, it's showing 58 degrees, and the meter showing 58 degrees, so it's pretty close. The meter cables has these two plugs in them that obviously have to be removed to use it. We'll save those in the bag with the probe, and color coded to match the connection on the meter. So I see this has a has a diode ohm uh, continuity test on it so you can measure resistance or you can also uh, check for open and shorted circuits. And obviously when you connect it together it gives you a tone so that you know uh, you have a short circuit. I got my fluke meter here and uh, I'm going to set it so that it's on DC volts. And I got a bus bar on here that is connected up to a lithium ion battery right now. And it's showing me that I have 52.7 volts DC. Okay, we'll try that with the south wire meter. Set it to volts DC. And that also says that I have 52.7, so that's a pretty good indicator that the meter is set correctly. Uh, and just a side note, um, they do offer a service where you can send the meter back in and they will certify it. So if you're in a profession, uh, you can do that. But uh, you may also look at more expensive meters before going that route also. That uh, third hand feature for the probe, the uh, probe just snaps into the back side of that. And now you can hold the meter and take it to the work. That makes it fairly handy that way. And it also holds it with the probe out longer if you want. A lot of them you have to set it in a certain place, usually up closer, so that's kind of a nice feature of that. Okay, I've turned the inverter on and I want to check um, power at the AC outlet on my solar system here. So I can put the probes into the electrical outlet and it is showing me once I get a good connection here I have 119.7 volts so pretty close to 120 and on the fluke meter we have 120.8 so it's about a volt difference between one meter and the other on AC. We're going to try the non-contact voltage feature on the meter. That is this uh, NCV at the top of the range here. Set the knob to that. And it does show that it has NCV selected on the screen. Using this knob at the top of the clamp And when I go to the line wire, 
it gives me a indicator with the beep okay we've got a thousand watts uh, coming from our solar panels right now and uh, down here it says it's the chargers feeding a current of 18 amps into the batteries and up here it says we have 15 amps coming from the solar panels so that's basically what I bought this meter for was so that I could check my amperage right here you can see that it's set to AC by the sine wave press that and it shows the symbol for DC voltage and right now it's showing me that I have 14.8 amps coming from the solar array which is really consistent with what I'm getting on the display here it says 15.2 charge controller is not a electrical measuring device and right now this says I'm getting 19 amps going to the battery and uh, I'm showing 18.6 on here so that's pretty close also so it's a great troubleshooting tool to make sure that power is what you think it's going to be right now our uh, app for the charge controller is showing that we have 15.4 amps coming out of this array at 68 volts um, so if I set our south wire meter here to amperage and set the mode to DC and clamp it on the cable here and see that we got 15.7 uh, amps coming out of it which is just what the app was saying so it's interesting that they're that close together I mean obviously it's going to vary depending upon the Sun hitting it there's a couple arrows up here that you have to line up on your cable uh, to get the most accurate reading but looks like that's doing pretty good okay so so far that's my experience with the south wire 21550T it's AC DC clamp meter um, all the features and ranges on it have been uh, acceptable for my uses and uh, I think it has a little wider range than some of them out there we haven't tried all the features on it, but all that I've tried so far have worked just fine. And uh, we'll be seeing a lot more of this as I continue on with our projects. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And we got lots more to come in our channel.